I'm Linda, and everybody calls me Granny. All of Anna's friends, even friends I don't even know, call me Granny. to make some uh, peach cobbler today. And first I'm going to put a cup of sugar, a, a cup of flour, and a cup of sugar. I'm going to pour it over the cover. And I'd rather can my own peaches because they are a lot better than what you buy. Put it in the oven at 350 degrees. And I'm going to bake it for about 30 minutes. There was seven of us kids and, and mom and daddy, and we only had the, uh, well, we, mom, they took the dining room and made a boy's bedroom, and then we had a girl's bedroom, and there's five of us girls, and uh, mom and daddy had a bedroom. But after we all left home, but the baby one, Norma, daddy built on another bedroom and put a bathroom in the house. We didn't have a bathroom. We went to mama's. And I don't know how we ever got in that little old house always, with uh, all these kids. Uncle Leon always brought bunches of fireworks and shot them for us. Mm -hmm. And then him and Hard started being Santa Claus. And they come every Christmas up to the Ruthen building and Judy would bring in sacks and sacks of uh, gifts. Everybody, Everybody got a present when Santa Claus came. But we've had some really good times. I've had, I've got a lot of memories with my brothers and sisters, and I miss them. We didn't argue, we didn't fight, and we uh, always, I guess that's what hurts so bad. We was always such a close family. And I try to bring my poor up like that too. As far as I know, we've been pretty close to each other. No, they was busted out of the upstairs, so Daddy just put plastic on them in the wintertime. But you had them old fly catchers hanging all over the inside of the house, didn't you, Cindy? Oh, no, yeah, one stream down. That yeah, empty. I bet you there'd be a 50 of them things. And sure as peak, I get that in my long hair, you remember? <laughs> and it would wrap and wrap and wrap, when it, and it's just like honey. We'd like to never get that out of our hair. But the table, the floor was kind of crooked, so you can't remember could eat a whole bowl of cereal, because if you did, it'd go down bad, wouldn't it? Because the floor was straight. So you only got a half a bowl of cereal, so it wouldn't flip out, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> but we had the best time growing up. I don't know where you girls lived. I didn't live in a half a bowl of But I'll tell you right now, it was clean as a pen. Yeah, because yeah. they kept it clean. Yeah. And there was never no dirty dishes because you'd be eating and she'd jerk that plate right out of mine, you wouldn't. Oh, Lord. Never no. didn't get to finish. You know what? I've caught myself being just like her. So <laughs> I eat, I get up, and I start running dishwater, and I start taking a base plate. But it was all right. It. it was my papa's sister, and she was challenged. Was very challenged, and her mom was like a four year old. 
but she was a blessing to us. We just loved her so much. But buddy, she was ready to get them dishes washed. It didn't matter how many spoons you had going, when she got up, everybody got up. They was done eating. But yeah, we had a good, we had a good childhood. It was different from most people's, I'll tell you. I don't believe our youngest kid, my kid, only five minutes. Like we grew up. There ain't no way. Well, I, I, maybe some of them would do better if they lived like me. I did out. I'd go in there and sneak Mama's sugar, and I'd get me some dirt, and I'd mix it up, and I'd make me a mud cake, and I'd hunt these little flowers all in the yard, and I would decorate it, and I made him eat that. <laughs> That's what and we used, actually eat it. That's what we used to do to Rocky and them because they had a, a boys club and we was the only girls and they wouldn't let us in it. And I held him down one day and made him eat five big old gobs of, of mud things as big as Rocky Well, was. they willingly eat mine because mm -hmm. I had sugar in them. <laughs> Salad. I just washed my hands. Just the gift God gave us. And I'm gonna stir up the cornbread. You know, growing up, I don't know what we'd do with that cornbread and biscuits. And I am a bread eater. I love bread. can of uh, pinto beans in there. Cover the cornbread up. I'm putting it in this bowl because it usually makes it a real pretty salad when you Got it in a clear bowl where you can uh, see all the different colors. Now I've got a can of whole kernel corn. Um, this is cucumbers. I got out of the garden uh, last night. Put some cucumbers in it. And I'm going to put some onions. This is a good summer dish if you're out. Put some uh, peppers, green peppers. And then we're going to put some cauliflower. Put some 
just to start manning for the... Into the salad. Cindy always uses it. Put the extra on hers and she gets it out because she loves lunch dressing, but I'm not a lunch dressing person. And now I'm going to pop it with cheese. Any day of the week or anything you want to eat with. All right, we're gonna try some fresh homemade cornbread salad. All these uh, fresh grown uh, tomatoes and everything in here, and so we gotta. And they made it look so pretty, so it's hard. Don't wanna mess it up, but we're gonna eat it. Gotta get down in there and get a little bit of everything. There's cornbread. Pinto beans, corn, onion, green pepper, cauliflower, tomato, and cheese, and it's got some ranch on there too. Cucumber as well. All right, I'll let you get yours. Delicious. It's good. Hey, Forrest here again. I am Granny's great nephew by marriage. I'm Tex. I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm married to, to Teresa, makes Aunt Linda, or Granny, my aunt by marriage. And now we're going to try this uh, homemade peach cobbler, fresh and hot out of the oven. I can already imagine it's going to be delicious, but let's give it a try. Delicious. It's better than I had in my head, and it is spot on, hot, which is the only way to eat cobbler. Excellent. And with ice cream, too. Somebody took mine away from me. Hi, I'm Jessica. Granny. So, Granny was the sister to my grandfather, Leon. And I have been craving cobbler all summer, so I'm super excited to try this. It is definitely hot, straight out of the oven. It is everything I had hoped for and more.